<clears throat> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a framing segment. What you'll need for this video. You will need a pair of scissors or a blade knife. You will need to purchase your frame and um, you will want to size your diamond painting based on the frame size. Tape it on the inside if you feel like you might have too much room in the frame. Uh, if the frame is a little bit bigger than what you're used to. And I've already picked out the frames. I've already been putting these in frames for a while. So I already know how they fit in these frames. And so this one is a pretty simple, straightforward video about framing. So what we got to do is trim the sides of the diamond painting off and what you're needing. Okay, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to start cutting out this let me see here let me make sure I'm on video all right Woo. <laughs> my flash I guess automatically kicked on I didn't even tell it to so that's kind of cool uh, so I did seal this one just to see if it would keep the diamonds from popping off or from having issues. So that is why this one is a little bit stiff because I was having popping drill issues with this hua can. So what you wanna do is cut all of the sides off. And you'll want to get it as close to the edge of your diamonds as possible. And sometimes that might be easier with an X-Acto knife or a blade of some sort, a razor blade or what have you. Sometimes it's easier with scissors if you can get close enough to see um, so my husband did these ones so the diamonds are not flawlessly perfect because um, I'm a bit more of a perfectionist than my husband is um, but he still did a really good job on them Um, I did not do a post review on these specific diamonds because I've pretty much vocalized my distaste for who I can and how I will never buy another diamond painting from them ever. <laughs> I don't even know that I want a free one, let alone uh, one to buy, so... Um, but I did do, I did complete the diamond paintings because I just did not want to see this stuff go to complete waste and, you know, uh, landfill somewhere or, you know, something because these diamonds are just a wreck. They are hard to even keep on the canvas. So, so then after I cut off all four sides. I will save the key just in case it ever 
falls apart or a diamond comes off and I don't know what diamond belongs there. I save all of my um, I save all of my charts um, in the back of the frame or in the back. I will tape it to the back of the diamond painting if it's in another kind of frame. Um, so then I just do that. Now these these frames are really easy. You just um, they just pop out the front. So you just put your fingers in the back. Oops, bump you. Sorry guys. Uh, so you just put your fingers in the back and take out the glass. Now my husband and I decided what order we were going to hang these in, and we decided to do them by year. Um, and so we hung them up where we used to live and put them in order. And so these hung in place saying coming soon, uh, Snow White. So then I just placed this in the back of it. And then I just placed this on the top. Like I said before, these frames pretty much fit perfectly. There's a little bit of wiggle room as you can see, but for the most part, they sit in here well that I don't have to uh, worry about putting anything on the back of it. So, then you just literally replace the front back on and voila, you've got Snow White in a frame. And so she is done. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you Belle. I know I, I realize this now, um, looking at her, that she is missing a diamond. So I will have to go um, before I completely frame it and hang it up on the wall. I will go find the replacement diamond. But for now, in case any more fall off. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna trim the sides like normal. And this one was not sealed, so um, that is why that is why that diamond is missing because I was not able to seal it. Um, and I could have sealed it. I just never got around to it um, because I was just experimenting with the sealing of the other one, so it wasn't really. Um, since these are going in frames, I don't really see 100% necessary that you um, should have to um, put them behind. If they're behind glass, I don't see that you should have to seal them. Um, you can if you want to, in case you're worried about the, the diamonds for some reason falling off. Maybe you have a larger frame and you're worried about the picture falling or something. Um, because that does, that does tend to happen, so you've got to make sure that if you are putting these in a um, frame that is larger, um, because of the weight of, of how, how much they weigh, um, does factor in whether they stay where you place them, pretty much. Um, Boy, this is like not like <laughs> I'm not able to cut as close as I'd like for this one. I I think the scissors are kind of hampering me a little bit. Plus the stickiness of the canvas is sticking to the to the scissors. These are actually bought for my son who is five, and I can't even manage the five-year-old scissors. Sorry, guys. Do the same thing I did last time. I gotta push this out with my fingers, which is kind of awkward because the camera is like right there. Sorry guys. Alright. Alright, and then I will just put this in the bottom like before. 
put this on the inside and before my husband hangs this up I will be fixing the I will be fixing the diamond painting so there you have it that is how you frame in a picture frame um, there are multiple things you could do to add to it if your picture frame is bigger if your picture frame is bigger than your diamond painting you can add washi tape around it you can get a mat board to go inside of this so you could you could get a mat board still and have a small one to go around if you didn't want to um, show too much of the outside but honestly with this being white and having a white background you can't tell that there's any space or any gapping at all especially when they're being hung up on the wall um so you could get a mat for it um you can you could do multiple different things um and i'm actually going to continue this video with some um more framing techniques Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.